This is not legal in the UK. I can do some research on this, so let's get into it. Way forward, what is it? I'm not entirely sure, but I know it'll help you believe me. <coughs> Hello, and welcome to a breakdown of what could be possibly one of the most exciting new developments in whey protein in years. Yes, they've possibly reinvented bread. Well, if, 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 the whey pro if the whey protein was bread, they have reinvented. I should have said reinvented the wheel. Here's what we've got. This is not allowed in the UK yet. Now this is where it gets a bit complicated because this is essentially genetic engineered way. Americans, you have the joy of trying this already. And if you want to try it, you Yankee Doodles can um, head over to the MyProtein website and if you search way forward, you should find it there. You can also save on cyber, whatever day it is this week. It's the end of the Black Friday. You can still get with code LEXFITNESS up to 57% off. So that will defeat any offer that is on the site. Same goes for you UK guys. You just can't buy this. So thanks to everybody that has used code so far. You have been legends. And with more code of mine used in better English, the more deals I'll be able to throw you away. So tickly tap, tap, tap. I'll explain what all these are here in a minute. Right, what is this illegal in the UK protein? Well, let me tell you. We thought whey protein had been done. I think we mixed into these. My protein, they teamed up with a company called Perfect Day. Now this company specializes in eco-friendly, low carbon footprint, sustainable food choices. But before we start, let's take a quick visit to a hundred million pound development facility. Yeah, not the usual thing you see me in because today we're at an unusual place. These are bad. It's about to get worse. Lex to dinner lady. One for you. No. <laughs> it gets worse. Hundred million pound facility. Three dollar looking hazmat suit. <laughs> Yeah, so this place was pretty freaking incredible. A huge amount of square footage, and this is only a quarter of it. You can see here that there's a lot of automated systems going on. It was a really cool setup. It still had that human touch with individual ingredients still being mixed by hand in certain areas to create specific flavors for orders. Really impressive, high standard, and the level at which they go to. One of these units to house the way, guess how much? No, 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 yeah. Crazy, 10,000 pounds for a single unit. A real mixture of human and our soon to be leader robots helping develop and ship out your orders alongside the monitoring that goes on to make sure that each thing is to a certain grade before it's even allowed to leave the premises. Just overall, one of the biggest and craziest setups I've seen and I really can't wait to see what we can bring. But they did forget to not leave that red button there. I'm just saying if you hit the big red button, you can get yourself some free stuff. Impressive, right? That is in Manchester in the UK, and it is freaking ridiculous. This needs. <laughs> the leveling up that my protein has done the last few years is absolutely insane. Exciting times. This is made in a lab. Fermented, not farmed. Here's why it's better. No lactose, zero sugar. Woo! There are no sugars in this. It's cholesterol free, vegan friendly, in the same taste, so unlike pea and soy and all that, which can taste a bit chalky, this tastes exactly the same. Also, it uses 99% less water to produce it, 97% less greenhouse gases are created, and 60% less non-renewable energy. That's pretty sweet. What is this magical thing and why has it only just come about? I'm gonna zip through this, but this is the tiddly-winky, telly-tubby it, science-wise. This is what happens. So they're already using in this precision fermentation microflora to create unique compounds, but it's been predominantly used to create micronutrients. So like our vitamins and minerals and things like that. They have now found a way to make it produce macronutrients, i.e. the protein. So we find microflora throughout all our environment and in our own guts. Little hard workers they are. Nom, 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 nom. Poop. Microflora help us do that. So they use a fungus that produces an enzyme which is called cellulase. They then use something called strain engineering, which is where they rewrite part of the genome of the fungi so that it produces the desired protein that we want, which in this case is the beta-lactoglobulin, which gives us our whey protein. 
Ooh, genetic medicine, we're gonna get mutant ways, we're gonna shake it up, you're gonna go to drink it, it's gonna be like No, don't worry. This will naturally occur in the environment anyway. As the fungi digest and take in matter, they will rewrite their genomes to adapt to the environments that they're in. So it's a natural adaptation of the microflora anyway, and they're just pushing it in the right directions, and the ones that do adapt, to keep them, and the ones that don't, they go off and do other stuff. It's ingenious, really. So, I have been sent this, and we are gonna taste test it, which is what these are all about. Will it mix with a fork? You'll remember the days when you started and you were told you could mix it with a fork and you had all those little powder globules on the top. Sup it down, regardless, because And then we've got a zhuzhi -buzha. These are brilliant. If you buy your mates Christmas presents, if you need to buy your bloke a Christmas present, stocking filler, zhuzhi -buzhas. Oh, this is called an aero latte. Tap that and see what comes up. Oh. We've got creamy mint chocolate chip, rich salted caramel, and decadent chocolate brownie. That's a 27.3 gram serving. Uh, 20 grams of protein, total fat 0 0.5, which we expect from a good high way. But look at this, carbohydrates, sugars, zero. Now they are all, from what I can see, the same 20 gram level, just a slight differentiation in carb levels between them, and that is about it. Obviously they're not using cows or anything, so these are completely and utterly hormone free, which especially in America, that's gonna be a big deal because you know y'all boys like to stick them cattle with whatever it is and make some go, Whoa! so you get them triple decker burgers y'all love so much. We have water. And then I got some cow juice, which is what I would have it with, because it's way more delicious. But then I'm kind of defeat the purpose of not using the cows. But we still like the cows. Maybe the cows like a little bit of... See, the problem is, is I only have one serving of each thing, because otherwise the cops have come for an illegal tub of illegal goodness. In a world of bureaucracy and red tape, one man fights against the tide to get better gains. This is the story of Way Forward. I amuse myself. Okay, let's do a water, a half water, half milk, and a full cow juice. Mix it with six to eight ounces. So you may as well say, mix with two to four gremlins in trench coats. I got one of them. Let's sit down, let's just do that. 20 grams of the rich salted caramel that, this is gonna go everywhere. This is how you got it through customs. Oh, there we go. Smells salty caramelly. There you go. Roll it. That's all of it. So this is the fork test. This is this never works. And that's it. Hang on. There you go. Mixability, my protein, fair dinkum. Now I think this is gonna get gross with the water aftertaste, which you know what I mean. You get that kind of Am I gonna drink three shakes in a row? Poop into the eye of a needle. That's added creaminess to the water, and it's palatable, like it's sweet. It tastes sweet like caramel, and the saltiness is, it's there, man. And it's fully mixed. I'll put cow juice in it and just see. Cow juice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it would taste essentially like the sweet coffees you get from Starbucks. Delicious every so often. Could you have it every single day? Yeah, if you really love sweet stuff, but it's very sweet. Oh, I have not brought myself another cup. Cleanse! Okay. I mean, if it tasted like a sh like your brain thinks, like, it tastes like a McDonald's milkshake, which they never do, and that was 10, then this is easily like a seven. You could put a shot of coffee in that with some ice in milk. Oh, naughty. Chocolate mint, love it. After eights, love it. Mint chocolate chip as a drink, not gonna lie, this is not my favorite. We're doing half and half of this, aren't we? Oh, that's brown. Okay, now this is the zhuzh test. Zhuzh protocol is don't zhuzh, be zhuzh in here and then go in. You go in and, and then you zhuzh. See, that way you don't create a protein cloud. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's got chocolate bits in it. Those are actual little bits of chocolate. Mmm. Can confirm, definitely. Crunchy bits of something chocolatey. That is really nice. And that's half water, half milk, so full cow juice. That would be, mm, no water aftertaste. 
That's why you use a trick on dieting, I go half and half. It's not super, super chocolatey or anything. I give it a seven out of 10. I only give it a seven out of 10 because I don't think I could drink that every day. It's very specific. So we've got two sevens out of tens. Full disclosure, I don't tend to like protein powders. If, if I'm honest, I like the clear ways. They are the fruit juice ways that my protein do. The blood orange and orange mango, banging. Brownie, which I have my doubts with. Okay, immediately this one doesn't smell good to me. You know when you first got a chocolate protein powder and in your head you were like, this is McDonald's with Danes, and then you put it with water and you got that sewer brown liquid that you just had to gag, gag down. Oh, oh, the flavor on the front is a lie. Yeah, ooh, yeah. Memories. Let's make sure the lid's shut. So here's a little thing I like to do as well to get off the edges is you do the circle and then you shake it. Yep, we've got nothing out of the ordinary there. It does just smell like your typical chalky shake. It is a creamy chocolate tasting shake. Would I say it tastes like a brownie? Not really, but it does taste like a sweeter chocolate than normal. It's nice. It's not that, yeah. You'd be happy with it. I'd give that one an eight. I will get, I, yeah, I could have that on a regular. I could have that on a regular. Yep, with the cow juice, that's an eight. I'm saying with water, vile. So salted caramel, that go all the way through. Your brownie, definitely cow juice only. And the mint chocolate chip, half and half, or full cow juice. So there it is. The first genetically engineered way from my protein. What do you think? Are you gonna try it? Have you tried it? Do you like the idea of it? Do you not? I wonder if they can make the clear way out of this as well. And I think this, alongside the insect farming, is gonna be the way. And if you miss the sale and you're watching this afterwards, don't worry, you can still use my code. It will always beat whatever deals are on the site. And if it doesn't, which it bloody well will do, right? Message me and I'll sort it for you. All right, cheers for watching. It doesn't suck. I'll catch you in the next one. What, what am I waving for? Boom, baby. I'm out. I'm out. I'm going. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave.